Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a Tecla Structural Designer tutorial series, and we are almost done in that more in our inner model analysis and design. So, in our previous video, we have completed applying every load, and in this lecture, I am going to discuss about. I mean, I am going to show that how will analysis or model. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we'll go here and uh, you know that in a previous video we have seen that our model is okay uh, for our so our model is okay for our load and also our model is ok for its structural category we have check or validate by clicking here everything is ok now we'll go for analysis so how will analysis that to analysis just we have to go here analysis ok we have to go here analysis and just click here analysis wall ok analysis wall just click here and open it's running the solver and it's analyzing our model so after uh, completed I mean after completing we'll see our model that what happened so here is our model so from here we are uh, seeing that uh, there have no model which are being failed so they have no model which are failing or warning okay or beyond a scope error they have nothing here okay so our member is okay actually so after that we can see our different data okay I mean we can take our different data so from here um, the ratio okay from here we can uh, see the ratio after that depth ratio after that here a status from here uh, we can see the status of our building okay I mean our frame so it's showing our In column it's showing error but they have no fail or warning so after that here also sorry uh, this is for foundation and here a status here everything is okay after that if we click here view result and from here you can see everything from here I mean from result you can see uh, everything from here so that is the reaction if you click here the support reaction if you want to oh, sorry after that you can also click here review for review then just you can see here the tabular data from here what is the tabular data and here is the data for your work so I just click that sorry I'll go into reform and after that just click here you can see the slab reinforcement so from here you are seeing that for our slab reinforcement it's showing uh, select reinforcement to be applied it just uh, it's showing bar three bar okay if you see it it's showing us for a reinforcement 
I mean every for every slab it's showing us and after that uh, also from here slab deflection view so from here you can see the slab deflection view after that view result so after that here is the reaction in fz this is the torsional view So this broad quick load we have to see it. Uh, sorry, I have done a mistake. We have to see that for dead load. Okay. So for dead load, if we see the support reaction, here is the support reaction, and for support reaction, uh, for dead load, it's showing the total support reaction also here. And if we see that, here is our support reaction and if we take the mouse here it's showing our value here in fz 96.9 kips like that okay and here is the value after that if we see the deflection that is the deflection and I will stop that too if we see the deflection here you can see the deflection here also so after that from here um, for axial force this is the axial force for our dead load if we take your mouse here you'll see the value here wall value are also available, shear force moment, everything are available. Okay. So this is for dead load and for live load, this is more than it. And for wind load, this is very less. For seismic drift, this is for seismic drift 1. And after that, this is for seismic direction 2 okay after that for that so in that way you can see your own value here the soy straight drift so you should see that so this is the straight drift if you take your mouse here and for dead load for live load and for seismic load for wind direction 1 wind direction 2 this is for direct share 1 drift value and this for 2 and uh, only for 1 this data are available then for seismic here is the seismic value ok for seismic value here is our data for seismic value I mean drift for seismic value and is the uh, what is that for And also well of FX FY here is bearing pressure. I, I mean actually the deflection. So 
the total that is the deflection value if you take mouse here one line result so actually in this way we can founder and if we see our axial force uh, bending moment here is our bending moment this is for seismic for dead load here is the bending moment for dead load this is the live load for live load this is the bending moment for live load bending moment major bending moment minor bending moment biaxial this is all data okay so if you close that you can see the deflection here is the deflection so if you take your mouse here you will see the deflection so in this way we can check our data so in our next video i will show you that how we go for our design procedure and from here and just uh suppose if you need to if you go ahead analyze this and sorry result and after that if you need to any data so like that you can found that and also just you can click here view report and from here you can take your data by from here the tabular data so here is your data okay for uh, which data you want to see that just click here this is the member which are okay or not so in our next video i will try to change that okay so from here for that section you are seeing that this is the reinforcement I mean this is the reinforcement for seismic design okay so from here you can see that our area that it's showing our area is not okay so we'll go for check and we'll do everything here in next video so s12 stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much and if you think that that is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video